people are like, yeah, believe you brought Skyler here. We're f***ing all bombed and drinking. I know, Morgan. It's a real rarity we'd be all drinking. You know, my Uncle Marty drinks it. Yeah. I'm going to Bender for six, eight months. Yeah. Ever tell you what happened to him when he was driving up there and he got pulled over? I told you guys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, but let me tell you what happened to my Uncle Marty because just because you ought to know this. He's always he's telling stories over here. Every time we come here, he's got another story, but we all heard this one. Go ahead, I'll say it anyway. Go ahead. I will go ahead. Thank Thanks a lot. Yes, I have the floor now. Um, yeah, my Uncle Marty's driving home, right? Bombed out of his tree, right? Just hammered out of his gourd. Just cracked. State trooper uh, sees him and pulls him over. So my uncle's f***ed, basically. We got him out of the car, trying to make them walk the line. He gets out of the car and, you know, pukes on the guy. State he's pretty sure he's over the legal limit. So he's about to throw the cuffs on him and put him in jail. <clears throat> All of a sudden, 50 yards down the road, there's this huge f***ing boom, right? So State he gets real spooked and he turns around. You got shot? <laughs> no, some, no. some, some, <laughs> you've heard this story <laughs> before. Stop. 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 Some other guy's car had hit a tree. Okay, there was an accident. <laughs> anyway, how could he hear the other shot? Shut up! I'm gonna break your neck. Shut up! Shut up. Okay, shut up. Sorry, he told you the story once before. So he tells my uncle, "Stay here, don't move." So Stady goes running down the road to deal with the other accident. After a few minutes of, of just lying in his own piss and vomit, my uncle starts wondering what he's doing there. Gets up, gets in his car, and just drives home. Well, the next morning, my uncle's just passed out, and he hears this. Knocking at the door. So he goes downstairs, I can pull the door, but what? It's the state trooper that pulled him over. Stays like, what you mean, what? You know what? I pulled you over last night is what? You took off. He's like, bitch, I never seen you before in my life. I've been home all night with my kids. I don't know who the <laughs> you are. He's like, you know who I am. Let me get in your garage. And I was like, what? He's like, you heard me. Let me get in your garage. I was like, all right, fine. Takes him out of the garage, <laughs> opens the door, and there's... <laughs> The Stady's police cruiser is in my uncle's garage. <laughs> is that <laughs> with, he was so <laughs> hammered, he drove the wrong car home. <clears throat> and the best part about it is the <laughs> state trooper had been was so embarrassed, he didn't do anything. He'd been driving around all night in my uncle's Chevelle looking for the house. All right, Chuck, what the is the point of your story? No, he got away. That's the point. What, All right. What can nice well, here. question. Are you, Come on, are you stop. Fucking, I'm, asking, you know, I'm trying to clarify something. Probably you're, you're embarrassing too embarrassed though. to ask. That you don't, it doesn't make any sense. It does make sense if you listen to the story and quit asking questions. Morgan, let's see if you can get this one. I've got a little story for you. <laughs> All right. There's an old couple in bed, Mary and Paddy, and they wake up on the morning of their 50th anniversary. And Mary looks over and gazes adoringly at Paddy. She's like, oh, Jesus, Paddy. You're such a good-looking fella. I love you. I want to give you a little present. Anything your little heart desires, I'm going to give it to you. What would you like? Paddy's like, God, gee, Mary, that's a very sweet offer. Now, <clears throat> in 50 years, there's one thing that's been missing. And uh, I would like you to give me a blowjob. <laughs> I would like one. And Mary's like, all right. She takes the teeth out, puts them in the glass. And she gives him a blowjob. And afterwards, Paddy's like, oh, jeez, now that's what I've been missing. That was the most beautiful, earth-shattering thing ever. Beautiful, Mary, I love you. Is there anything that I can do for you? And Mary looks up at him and she goes, give us a gift. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> filthy. Not that filthy. I've heard filthy. <laughs> <laughs>